Hey guys, today we're checking out The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy from 2005. Let's get to it. Okay, we're watching Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I've heard this one is wild, wacky. On the planet Earth, man had always assumed that he was the most intelligent species occupying the planet instead of the third most intelligent. The Behind. second most intelligent creatures were, of course, dolphins, who, curiously enough, had long known of the impending destruction of the planet Earth. <gasps> The last oh my goodness. ever dolphin message was misinterpreted, but in fact, the message was this. So long and thanks for all the fish. So long and thanks for all the fish. I've heard that. I feel like there's going to be a lot of things in this movie that I've heard or seen references to and didn't realize. I do think dolphins are very smart. This music! So long and thanks for all the fish. <gasps> oh my goodness. World's about to be destroyed. There's no point getting <laughs> this is pretty wacky so far. What a what an opening number. Based on the book by Douglas Adams, yes. I do want to read that book. Screenplay by Douglas Adams too. So he was quite involved. <laughs> so they're leaving Earth, is that right? That was pretty wild. The story of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy begins very simply. It begins with a man. <laughs> Oh, it's this guy. I just watched two episodes of the Fargo TV show. He's great. His name is Arthur Dent, and someone is trying to drive a bypass through his house. Oh, the music is great. What do I want you to do about it? Well, I want you to find him and tell him that I'm currently lying flat on my back in front of- Doing a little protest here. One of his closest friends was in fact from a small planet somewhere in the vicinity of Beetlejuice. Love that movie. So what, his friend is an alien? Oh, they're gonna demolish my home. You already know how. <laughs> oh, they, they. Something's gonna happen. Workers of the Earth, I bring good tidings of peanuts and beer. Peanuts and beer. They said they won't demolish your home until they finish the beers. Well, can we trust them? I trust them to the end of the Earth. How far is that? About 12 minutes away. About 12 minutes. Something's going down. Keep the change. You got about 10 minutes to spend it. It's three pints each at lunchtime. All right, so spill it. What do you know? The world's ending in 10 minutes, is that right? What if I told you I really wasn't from Guildford? I was from a small planet somewhere in the vicinity of Beetlejuice. <laughs> Does he just think his friend has gone mad? Remember when we met? Yeah, they're big friends. Uh, what? <laughs> hey. Best friends. I assumed you were drunk. You saved my life that day and now I'm, I'm saving yours. Does he just think his friend has gone mad? Must be Thursday. You can never get the hang of Thursday. <laughs> It's not about the house. Look at this lady. <laughs> Who's she? She. Trisha McMillan. She was amazing though. Ford. Beautiful. Witty. Mad as a balloon. Let's go somewhere. Where do you have in mind? Madagascar. Oh, exotic. Why are we waiting here? Wait a sec. <laughs> He's literally dressed for it. I can't go. I mean, I've got a job. Quit. I don't even know your real name. Ow. Ow. Yeah, she's pretty random. Why don't we go somewhere a little closer first, say Cornwall, and we'll see how it goes. Who's this hovering? Hey, excuse me. This guy boring you? Why don't you talk to me instead? Hey, Sam Rockwell? You want to see my spaceship? Yes. <laughs> I loved him in Galaxy Quest, and I hated him in the Green Mile. We got two minutes. Drink up, drink up, drink up. Oh, what? Really? Someone else. Oh, they got his house. Oh, man. Is this it? Uh oh, uh oh. I'm getting chills. <laughs> Dolphins vanished. They knew something. Wonder how they knew. What the hell are those things? They're ships from a Vulcan constructor fleet. Oh, we're beaming up. Doing? Yes, yes, yes. Um, people of Earth, um. this is prosthetic Vogon. Plans for the development of the outlying regions of the galaxy involve the building of a hyperspace express route through your star system. Oh my god. <laughs> Panic! <laughs> the plans and demolition orders have been on display <laughs> to local planning office in Alpha Centauri for 50 of your Earth years. Scheduled for demolition, just like Arthur's house. <laughs> Got my demolition. So they're building what, like a highway, like a space highway? <laughs> See, it probably would be something as mundane as that. Whoa, whoa. Oh, wow. Ah. Oh! 
Oh, whoa. Oh my god, it was vaporized in like two seconds. Well, that's wild. Well, freaking now what? I thought maybe he was gonna save the earth somehow, but I, I guess not. I like this music. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. We already saw a title though. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is a wholly remarkable book. Ah. It's already Woodbridge. supplanted the Encyclopedia Galactica as the standard repository of all knowledge and wisdom. First, it's slightly cheaper. I like this animation. Second, it has the words Don't Panic on its cover. Don't panic. I want to read this book. You're not an out of work actor, but rather a writer for this book thing. Oh, it's like a Kindle. I don't feel well. I need a cup of tea. They still have tea in space. That's good. Get me home, Ford. Arthur, your home is... Oh there God, is no my home. home. My home was demolished. Your planet's demolished, bro. You don't remember. I've got something to tell you. It's unfortunate, but... <laughs> Just a little bit of bad news. Your whole planet has been blown up. <laughs> That's heavy. See the last human, or did other humans get out, I wonder? If you want to survive out here, you've got to know where your towel is. It's good advice. Vogans, I hate hitchhikers. Pull. Now we'll get a signal. What is a Vogon? Ask the guy. Say Vogon. Vogons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guys with the big lips that were talking. Vogons are one of the most unpleasant races in the galaxy. Yeah. Hence the blowing up. On no account should you allow a Vogon to read poetry to you. <laughs> Don't do it. If you don't get a ride soon, you won't need the guy to tell us just how unpleasant the Vogons can be. <laughs> Is he hitching a ride? What is that? Don't What's forget your towel, man. Ew. This is translating for you. Translation fish. Table fish is small, yellow. Table fish. It feeds Ew. on brainwave energy. Ew. You instantly understand anything said to you in any language. I mean, that is handy, yes. It's translator fish. Babel fish, I like it. Just like the Bible. Oh, gross. Resistance is useless. Ew, I hate his mouth. Come, so come fast. In. Here we go. Go forward, right? Like Jeff of the Hut. All right, they were caught hitching. This story, this could go anywhere. I don't know what's in store here. Dying to read the book though, it must be wild. Don't show it. Uh... Ew, their noses are like up here. Hitchhikers. Uh-oh. Don't let him read poetry. Oh no, but what happens? No, 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 really, really, you don't have to read it. Vogon poetry <laughs> is widely accepted as the third worst in the universe. Oh god, just a Vogon poetry slam. I present you with a choice. Either die in the vacuum of space, or tell me what you thought of my poem. <laughs> uh, I rather liked it. Uh, some of the words I didn't understand, but uh, found the imagery. Quite effective. <laughs> oh, Arthur. So will they let them go? What you're saying is... His nose! I poetry because I just want to be loved. His mouth is so gross. Yeah. Yeah. Through the buffet ship! <laughs> well, at least they didn't kill them, I guess. We're gonna die. No! No. What's this? What's this? Yeah, just push everything. Might nothing. as well. Yeah, we're gonna die. <laughs> you're sweating. Doesn't have his towel. Would you like a hug? No. <laughs> I wonder if they're gonna be together for the whole movie. I hope so. I don't want him to lose the only guy he knows. Space, says the introduction to the Hitchhiker's Guide, uh -oh. is big. Quite big. If you hold a lung full of air, you can survive for about 30 seconds. Chances of being picked up within that time are 2,079,000,000 to 1. Bad. <laughs> is also the telephone number of the Islington flat where Arthur met a very nice young woman whom he totally blew it with. <laughs> well, I don't think there are coincidences. I think I'm a sofa. <laughs> I know how you feel. This movie is wild. So much for the laws of physics. Was she an alien too? Like, well, she was kind of weird. The most coveted ship in the universe. Stolen at the launch ceremony by the galactic president, Seyford Beeblebrox. The Big Z. <laughs> Chef And I'm taking the ship with me. Woo! Come on. <laughs> Computer says we have a couple of hitchhikers in our receiving bay. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, that's mm -hmm. where you pick me up. You're too gorgeous, baby. Stop it. You drive me crazy. I'll send Marvin. Marvin! I think you ought to know I'm feeling very depressed. It's a robot! Woohoo! 
We need you to go down to the number two entry bay and pick up our stowaways and bring them up here. I want to enjoy it. <laughs> oh. That's life. Don't talk to me about life. So depressed. <laughs> we have located the spaceship Heart of Vogue Gold still. and President Beeblebrox. I hate these things. Hyperspace permission granted, Captain. Oh, oh we're going for well, at least he's reunited with his uh, girl. I think that door just sighed. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> I've been ordered to take you up to the bridge. Bring the size of a planet. Ask me to take you up to the bridge. He's too smart. Arthur? I like her glasses. Oh, oh for heaven's sake. The doors. Freeze! <laughs> Zay five. Four? Four! Oh, they know each other. Oh, I thought this was the bad guy. All right. Stuck out my thumb and here I am. Oh my God. Great <laughs> reading. Show you. Yeah, look at you. I need to do a little jig with my sister while we meet. Hello, Arthur. Trisha. How you doing? Hey, Trillian. Uh, this is my semi half brother. Oh, he's going to get real jealous. How'd you get here? Right, I just stuck out my thumb. Here I am. Did you know I was here? Oh, don't flatter yourself. I've got a spaceman too. Yeah. <laughs> I left you the party. I feel bad about it, but I was going to call you when I got back. From Madagascar? You do know what happened, don't you? Hey, you know, small talk, Trio. We're on the run. Remember I stole the shit? Excuse me, mate. We're having a bit of a chat. <laughs> What? You blew it with her, Earth man. So shut your face. I kick in his ass. What? I'm just kidding. I'm a kidder. Come on. Let's be friends. Let's connect. What is happening? He's getting to my gym. I thought you said you stole it. Why? 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 Why is this? Oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh boy. Is it the Vogons? Woo! They're on the tail. Fire a gun. That thing is huge. This is Vice President Crestula Rontok. I am speaking to the kidnapper of the president. She digs me, shake it out. <sighs> Say, Ford, please come back now. This is ridiculous. Leave the hyperspace! Ew, I hate it. Okay, I hate that. It just freaks me out. I don't I don't like it visually. Blah. Did they have proper hyperspace authorization? No, Commander. Uh -huh. Bring me the request to pursue fugitive four. I like it as a monocle. When you see what I'm about to show Space you, Space team. You'll beg me to take you with us. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they only needed like one teeny shot of it. Sorry to hear about your planet. Nicole? Uh, I liked Earth. Get these boots on her. Don't mention it to the girl, okay? Because if you do, I'll pull your spleen out through your throat. Ew! That's like the evil side of him. So she doesn't know. What's with the two head thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Explain. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, you can't be president with a whole brain. So you carved it up. There. Yes. So parts of my personality weren't exactly what you call uh, presidential, you know what I mean? I see. That actually makes sense. Do you see this? This detects what you're craving and makes it for you. Enjoy. Oh my god. Oh my god, right? Mine would also be donut. I feel that. I told you I wanted to get away. To Madagascar, that was some sort of test. No, I failed. Hey. Are they from Earth? What I saw, what I'm about to show you, that's when I realized why I had to do what I did to my brain. It's all a little shaky. Boy, oh boy. What? I've seen it. It's rubbish. It's rubbish. I want to say rubbish more. Many millions of years ago, a race of hyper-intelligent pan-dimensional beings, they commissioned two of their brightest and best to design and build a stupendous supercomputer to calculate the answer to life, the universe, and everything. Oh, wow. Deep okay. We want you to tell us the answer to life, the universe. I want to know. You have to think about that. Return to this place in exactly seven and a half million years. I suppose you should think on it for a bit. They go back. What, seven and a half million years later? That's right. She's going to give the answer. Oh, boy. This music! answer for you? Yes. I like how it's just a computer like this. The answer to the ultimate question Woo! of life, the universe is 42. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been simpler, of course, to have known what the actual question was. 42. Give us the ultimate question then. I can't, but there is one who can. A computer that will calculate the ultimate question. Wow. I shall design this computer for you, and it shall be called... Oh. 
redacted. Oh boy. Do you want to know the ultimate question? Partly the curiosity, partly a sense of adventure, but uh, mostly I think it's for the fame and the money. <laughs> <laughs> I find the question, that's permanent. It sticks. Plus, everyone thinks you're deep. Win-win. Everyone thinks you're deep, yeah. You in? Always. Uh, sorry, what exactly are we doing? This! Oh, my. Oh, my God. This movie's wild. I think the Earth Man's about to be sick. Whoa, whoa, do it in the trash can, eh, man? This ship's brand new. Uh oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Adorable. We have normality. Did it work? Who is that? Oh, that's so cool! Just like with the couches. Okay, okay, I get it. I see ya. I don't think so. Oh, what planet are we looking at? Did you just put one in my head? What's with these mice? This is not Macrothea. We are currently in orbit around the planet Vilvanel Six. I'm a Gavuda. Son of a bee! I got a score to settle on this planet. I'm a He's got a score to settle. I love these animations. In the beginning. The universe was created. This made a lot of people very angry. And <laughs> Boo! People of Vilt Vodal 6 firmly believed that the entire universe was in fact sneezed out of the nose of a being called the Great Green Arkle Seizure. Square tires. Hey, all right, how you doing? All right. Hey, I love you. Fantastic. Such a politician. I think I've been here before. Everything's so wacky! I've been here before. Come on. I'm wondering, like, where can this story even go? I mean, the Earth is gone. He's never gonna go home. Like, what does a happy ending look like in a movie like this? So that's Hamakavula. I thought he was just swearing. We lift our noses, club and unblown, in reverence to you. Unblown. <laughs> Send the handkerchief of blessed ones so that it may wipe us clean. <laughs> Bless you. Religions, they're all kind of like this. Bless you, you know. What brings you to our humble planet? When you were my opponent running against me, you said I was stupid. <laughs> oh, oh, his eyes. Oh, I didn't see that coming, ew. Oh. Election is ancient history, Zephyr. Creepy. I guess I should stop being creeped out by all this stuff. If memory serves, you won. They ran and against each other. Incidentally, you are stupid. Excuse me, we came to worship you. You followed us. Just settle. <laughs> that would be me. I feel Arthur. Why are you here? Settle a score. I've been stranded on a on a strange planet uh, for a number uh, of uh, years. <gasps> you look great. You're doing well. Ew. You've grown, obviously. <laughs> we were trying to get to Magrathia and our ship brought us here. I'm very, very improbable. Uh, this is so weird. You must bring me something in return. <laughs> what? <laughs> Very special gun, but the only way to find it is to go to Magrathea. Let's say we're trying to go, right? And what will you give me to ensure your return? My word is president. I need a hostage. The girl. <laughs> oh no! But think about this before you do. No, no. Is he cutting the little the the other guy out? Oh oh. Double your pleasure. It's not fair. Stupid. Come back! Don't leave me alone. Oh my God! I was thinking I was the only one who considered your boyfriend a narcissistic moron when apparently the whole galaxy does. What about you? I'm not actually with him. We just came here to worship you. Where the hell is Ford? Oh, he's with his lady friend. <laughs> President, Ew. we're here for your protection. Hey. Do, 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 do. Commander, the president is the kidnapper. You're going to kill him. Thank you, darling. I'll be in touch. Come on, thing, President. How are they going to get out of it? I have an idea. But you can't go out there. What you Back up! It's the aerosol deodorant. I will kill him. I swear I will. It's an aerosol can. Ooh. Yeah. Hi, little guy. Get her. <laughs> He'll have to rescue her. Good music. Bring her to Volksby of a processing captain. I hope they don't hurt her. Uh, they're good. They're good. They're good. They're good. They're good. We have to go. Let's go. <laughs> Computer, we want to follow the ships. Oh, I'd love to, fella, but wouldn't you know it? My guidance system has been deactivated. I'm sorry about that, but it wasn't my we fault. It's the mice. I've been talking to the ship's computer, and it hates me. <laughs> I wonder if that little robot will eventually cheer up. 
I'm in. Okay, forward. Okay, we'll press this button. Here. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. no, 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 no. Please do not push this button again. Nothing. Okay. Oh, no. Good man. Get him off me. I'll kill him. Wackiness into Zeus. Okay, Marvin, any ideas? I have a million ideas. They all point to certain death. Thanks very much, Mark. Thanks for nothing. He's a little bit uh, C-3PO, you know, but more depressed. Planet Vlogosphere. Please don't get squished. All right, well, they made it. That's good. <laughs> Megathea! No, yes. we're on the Volgon planet. Yes, yeah. it is! It's Megathea! No, it's not! It's in my head! What is it? It's a thinking cap. Focus! It should give him some zest for about 10 minutes. Like so. lemon zest. <laughs> now I'm feeling much better about our predicament. Dun dun dun! I would be frightened if I was her. I had this idea that we could. Ow! Oh! Did, did anyone see that? What was it? Nothing. It's, uh, it's just my imagination. Oh! What is that? Something going on there. Right. Just, just watch. Uh, <laughs> I think we. Oh! There it is. Zaphod, what do you think? I think. <laughs> Dirk, what? What was that? <laughs> So what are these? They say whenever you say I think or I have an idea or something like that. Okay, don't think. Nobody think. No ideas. No thinking. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe it doesn't matter. It's crazy. Trillion is in there somewhere. I have an idea. <laughs> well, it sure does look like an impossible fortress. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Ba -da -do 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 -do. I like that kind of spacey spaciness to the theme. <laughs> it's like a streetcar. Okay, son, I'm thinking. They still have their towels with them. I wonder if that will ever matter. Marvin, can you give me a hand? Okay! Where is she? Who? The director of robot arm repair? It's all gone. Trisha Marie McMillan of Earth. Oh. Destroyed. Destroyed? That's impossible. Afraid not. Who in their right mind gives an order to destroy a planet? Hi, oh, this guy. <laughs> Go back and shoot that team. Now they gotta wait in line. I'm British. <laughs> I know how to kill. I know how to kill. <laughs> Presidents don't have power. Their job is to draw attention away from it. No, no offense. I mean, you're a great guy. Hey, it's me, your president. Yeah, what's going on? Look at all these aliens. Hi, uh, I've come about a release of a prisoner. Prisoner release form. <laughs> in every scene, he's doing something different with his towel. These are the orders. Love and kisses. The punishment for a presidential kidnapping is to be fed to the ravenous bug bladder beast of troll. I mean, in this movie, they might just kill her. I have no idea. Like, they really could just feed her to this troll right now. There we go. Oh no, she's not eligible for release at this time. Look, this, this is the president. Oh, hello. He's ordering you to let her go. <laughs> but this isn't a presidential release of prison. In a form. Oh, I'll stay here. Okay. All right. Hold that. Yeah, ho hold this place. That'd be a rock, Chrissy, man. Oh, he's hungry today. Seriously, she might die. Uh, okay, this is uh, it's a Patricia McMillan. So, look, it's a release form. Thank you. Oh, gosh. Release. Uh, but we'll. Let's here. Let's just go and get him. Are we waiting for again? That kind of sound. No, I'm serious. Here we are. Trisha. All right, okay, all right. Hey, come on. You idiot! You signed the order to destroy Earth. I did? He forgot. An entire planet, my home, destroyed all because you thought somebody wanted your autograph! Are you an idiot? Seriously? Yes. Why didn't you tell me? Well, he threatened me! Get a backbone, Arthur. Oh, a backbone! To rescue you! Thank you! My idea! Oh! <laughs> I mean, now what? They can't bring Earth back. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, poor crab. This time I shall pursue him myself. Oh, that's uh, one hour for lunch, everybody. But lunch is just an illusion. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy has this to say on the subject yeah, of life. what? Avoid, if at all possible. <laughs> right, too complicated. Oh, I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> Every oh, time. Um... <laughs> 
I should have told you, and I understand. Can you hand me a towel? Yeah. Hey, he does have a towel. If I had said yes to you and gone to Madagascar, then neither of us would be here now. I just thought that might count. That's true, they both would have died, yeah. Doesn't matter. <sighs> okay, Smell I'm on. gonna get you another lemon. These mice. What did you do? Not revealed coordinates accepted. He didn't do anything. <laughs> I love that. It just blows my circuit to tell you that we're currently in an orbit around the legendary planet of Magrathia. Yeah, that's it. Magrathia. Magrathia. Good planet name. Incredible. It's even worse than I thought it would be. Oh, I thought he was positive for a second there. The entire planet is temporarily closed. Beep. How can a planet be closed? Sarkin A, cousin. Okay, computer, keep going. I'd be happy to. <laughs> We hope you will enjoy the two thermonuclear missiles we've just sent to converge with your craft. Oh, nukes! Guys, I'm That's delighted to tell freaky. you that there are two thermonuclear <laughs> missiles heading right for us. If you don't mind, I'm gonna go ahead and take evasive action. Go for it, computer. <laughs> evasive maneuvers! Computer, do something! Sure thing, fella. Handing over manual control. Good luck! Good luck to ya! <laughs> Now hit each other. I can't do this step a third arm! Give me those No, they're coming right at us. Oh my god, I just pressed this thing! So what will happen then? I don't know! Press it! Look, son it all. No! Wow. <laughs> Where are we? Exactly where we were. And the missiles? Apparently they've turned into a bowl of petunias. Oh. And a very surprised looking whale. <gasps> Magrathia. Magrathia, I wasn't expecting snow. There are portals to another dimension. I suppose this portal has central heating, does it? He has the towel to wear as a scarf. This will all end in tears. I just know it. I agree. I don't think this is going to have a happy ending. Hey! You first! We can't just step into that! I mean, what do you mean rips us all into tiny little- What is she thinking? I have a hunch! Boss! His hunch is so good! I mean, I do think he has good hunches. What are you thinking, Trisha? She's going. She went. Better jump through. Don't panic! <laughs> Go for it! It looks like shards of glass in there, though. That does not look pleasant. Go! Before it closes. Go. Oh, he just went right through. Why? I told you this would all end in tears. Did you? Did you? Arthur's losing it. Uh, yeah, meanwhile. Oh. 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 Far out. Far out, man. Is right. <gasps> oh, hey, hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> you must come with me. Terrible events are afoot. What's your name, Earthman? Hey, it's the dude I just watched him in Shaun of the Dead. Late, as in the late dental resident. You'll be late. I get it. My name is 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 Slarty Bartfast. What? So, so my my friends are safe. Let me show you. I could calculate your chances of survival. That won't be necessary. They just left him there. I'm starting to feel so bad for this robot. Did you know we built planets? Maybe they can build a new Earth. Anyway, you must come with me because there's been a terrible mix-up with your planet. Right. Best laid plans of mice, you know. Best laid plans of mice and men. <laughs> or just mice. Maybe they can bring back Earth or make a new one. I wonder how many books there were. We're going to pass through, well, a sort of gateway. Oh. It scares the willies out of me. Great. Right. Very cool. So that's how planets are made. Science. This is it. Oh, great. Deep thought. We have traveled long. Just watching cartoons. <laughs> have you calculated the ultimate question? No, I've been watching the TV. <laughs> oh. I designed another computer to do that. Mm. Boring. Is it here? It's another world. Or at least it was until the Vogans destroyed it. Is it Earth? You sure you don't have the question or a way? Because I think I've done like a lot to get here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna lose it. Great. 
now I'm gonna uh, go find something else for my entire life to be about. Right? Oh. oh, deep thought. We were told that there is a gun. Yeah. Ooh. Dun, dun, dun. They're going so fast. There you are. Look familiar. Yeah. So it wasn't destroyed. This is a backup. Backup. Perfect. So you, you made the earth. Not me alone, but I, I, I did my part. Ever heard of a place? I think it's called Norway. I, <laughs> I got an award for it. Always wanted to go to Norway. All right, Frank. That's, that's Frank. Just painting it. They, they, they've nearly finished the oceans. <laughs> This is wild. Safer. Here, like Thomas said, it's been nice knowing you, Stark and Fruit. No, 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 no. <laughs> Did he shoot him? That is, if you pointed at someone and pulled the trigger, they instantly see things from your point of view. Wow, could you imagine? The checking's good. Towels are good, too. Love stills. I can see why Hama Kavula would want one of these. Well, we better get back. Arthur's waiting. Why <laughs> so edgy, baby dog? Why so edgy? Yeah, shoot him. You've got no home, no family, and you're stuck with me, another in a long line of men who doesn't really get you, huh? Huh? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and you're worried you might have blown it with the one guy who really does. Hey, oops. Yeah, they gotta go find Arthur. Give me that thing. Who are these mice? There's more than meets the eye to these mice. You must realize that the planet you lived on was commissioned, paid for, and run by mice. Oh, they're so smart. They were there on Earth as mice experimenting on you. Oh my god, right? See where you become confused now. You see, we were experimenting on them. They are very smart. No, I, ga I gather that's what they wanted you to think. But you were actually elements in their computer program. <laughs> This is so cool! This thing really stretches the entire way. Here you are then. Did he bring him home? Is this? Is it? And they're putting it back together. It's um, it's it's all there. You know, it it all works. Welcome home. Oh yay! <laughs> <laughs> Just chilling. There you are. Is this real? <laughs> what happened to you? Is that tea? Yeah. Our host attacked us. I'm gonna have to have a cup of tea after this. But then they made up for it by making us <laughs> this amazing meal. So everything, try everything is is delicious. <laughs> We're glad you like it, Earth creature. Nice. Excuse me, uh, is is there anything else? No, we're quite happy, thank you. Oh my god. I like the idea that the mice are in charge, actually. And now all we need is the missing piece of the puzzle, which happens to be your brain. Right. His brain? Did you just say you need my brain? Yes, to complete the program. Are we gonna kill him? Don't worry, you won't feel a thing. Oh, are they gonna kill him? You want a question that goes with the answer 42? How many roads must the man walk down? Hey, that's not bad. The only question I've ever wanted an answer to, is she the one? Only love. Rubbish, we don't want to be happy, we want to be famous. Yeah. What is all this, is she the one, try? Take his brain. <laughs> They're so cute. Take his brain. Are they going to? Yes, <laughs> quickly, bollocks. Ah. Squish them. Oh. Damn, we'll be sick. What is that noise? Oh, no. Are they back? Is it gonna happen again? Thanks a lot for leaving me behind. Though I can't say I blame you. That's true, they did. We're here for your protection. Oh, hey, thanks, man. They're <laughs> <laughs> gone. Is he dead? They killed him. Oh. Yeah, get him with the towel. They're afraid of towels? We need that gun. Come on, let's get the ship started. I'm trying to start the start the stove. Come on! Fire! 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 Jeez! Is he gonna come back alive? Come on, come on! Yeah! Oh boy! Oh, I feel so depressed. <laughs> Just lay down. Killed him with depression. All right. Marvin, you saved our lives. Yeah, you did. Oh, no. Wretched, isn't it? He didn't even kill them. He disabled them with depression. Let's go somewhere. Where did you have in mind? I know there's a great restaurant at the end of the universe. They're going on more adventures. <laughs> you got your towel? Yeah. Why? Am I going to need it? Always. Only always. Hey. <laughs> okay. Hold tight. Ba -da, 
ba 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 ba. Everything back as it was. Not that anyone cares what I say, but the restaurant is at the other end of the universe. <laughs> so wild. Product list. <laughs> Okay guys, well that was The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and that was wild. I don't think I've ever wanted to check out a book more than I do right now. I'm dying to see what this book is like. Just the inventiveness of it was, was it blew me away. This movie is not for everyone. I think the humor is not gonna land for everybody. The wackiness is not gonna land for everybody, but I had a really good time with it and I just appreciate the inventiveness of it, of the story. You know, I can't really comment on the execution of it because I haven't read the book, but just the way that I was introduced to the story now. It's just such an inventive story. It makes me want to track down the novel, so I'm definitely going to do that. Wild, the unique, bizarre, absurd, funny, just inventive. MVP, I mean, I am just going to give it to like the story, the inventiveness. This story is just insane and I really loved it. So I'm going to give the MVP to the inventiveness of this story by Douglas Adams. Wonderful. Loki MVP, I am going to give to the music. I had a really good time. It was just as like wacky and weird as the story was it really went well with it lots of wacky sound just a really really fun score the music is the loki mvp and the worst award let's just give it to the vogons for destroying earth in the beginning those rotten bureaucrats they were gross and their poetry is terrible so the vogons you're the worst overall this one was just a wild time my mind is boggled right now so let me know if there are any other wacky wild movies we should check out and thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time too. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.